Right, welcome back to this fail at Mario Kart Double Dash, and you know it's fail because this is actually my second attempt at starting this video. Last time I forgot to plug the GameCube controller into the Wii, then I plugged the wrong GameCube controller in, because I'm a bug. I'm sticking with my fail routine, and I will be doing all Cup Tour. Anyway, Star Cup. Sherpa Land, Mushroom City, Yoshi Circuit, DK Mountain. Let's see if I can improve on fourth place. I highly doubt it. And I think I've got speed boost down now. Let's have a look. Yes! Okay, I figured out speed boost. Oh man, great. Oh. I could see where this is going to go. I mean, I'm filming this during the day, so there is no late night filming session for this game. Maybe for Mario Kart Wii. I may film that a bit later on tonight. Hopefully that won't be quite as fail. I highly doubt it won't be full of fail, but yeah. I can't believe I'm in sixth. How come this has started off so badly for me already? Why? Why does it have to be like this? <sighs> I'll tell you... I should have known. Things don't go wrong when you're not filming. But God help you if you do decide to film this. LP curse strikes. It's a real thing. It really is. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, I'm going to switch back to King Boo. A bit more control over what I'm doing. Well, with what I'm seeing anyway. I keep sliding around. I'm really not used to this. Yet. I mean, I did have one quick practice. Not that long ago, in fact. Well, about a day after I filmed the last lot of videos where I failed so much, I just, I just went straight under that shy guy. And I did come third overall. I did actually improve. I was quite pleased with myself. Ah. Okay, I'll, I'll work with that. Okay, kind of finish. Mine soon. Come on, hit. Please hit. Are they too far ahead? Probably. Yeah. It looks like I'm going to grab fourth. Alright. Not the best start, but it could be worse. Let's try and work with this. And by now, when what is September 21st at just going past half two in the afternoon. Let's see what teams we've got. Luigi and Waluigi, Mario and Yoshi, Peach and Wario, Bloody Daisy! Why do you have to be in this? Bells on Cooper. Hmm. Anyway, all the Wii U news is out. Well, maybe not all of it. At the moment, there's 12 Wii U launch games that's been announced. More may be announced, and I'm going to get run over a lot in this video. We shall see. Games wise, it's looking like the best Nintendo launch lineup. I don't miss. I would say ever, honestly. I would honestly say ever. I want to go as far as to say this is the best launch lineup Nintendo's ever had. Because there is a lot of great games that's coming out on launch day. I mean, just for instance, you know, you've got Super Mario Bros. U. Am I going to get blown up by my own bomb? No, I'm not. There's another one. And you've got Rayman Legends. You've got Zombie U. You've got Nintendo Land. Four games that I'm getting on launch day, quite frankly. And if none of those games are to your fancy, then... Why not pick up Tekken Tag Tournament 2? Or... Ooh. Or Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed. Possibly FIFA 13, if that's your thing. Ben 10 Omniverse. A new game party. And honestly, in a way, it wouldn't surprise me if one or two more games still got added to this big list of games that is coming out. I mean, Dark Siders 2 was meant to be a launch game, but I've not really heard anything on that. 
Hang on. So, don't know if that's been pulled from launch day. Who knows? I knew I was going to fail on this eventually. I still think Assassin's Creed 3 could be a launch game. I'm not sure. I think it's possible though. Price rise. I'm not really surprised at how much the Wii U console is going to cost. I think it's fair, personally. Oh, I don't want the bloody heart. Oh well. Where well, was my train of thought? Oh yeah, price. Game-wise, I know we online retailers has actually got the price up into a very ridiculous state, like 44 to 50 pounds for games. But I am expecting that to go down eventually. I mean, that must go down, mustn't it? It'll go down to around about £40 at some point or another. I mean, Shop 2's at £40. So, you can see others taking the same sort of line. Don't let me crash 6th place, that's lovely. Yeah, I'm gonna get... Oh, this is not even gonna get a trophy on this, I swear to God. It's fail everywhere. Oh, where are my understandings anyway? I'm gonna fail. Yoshi circuit to right. And despite it all, I'm still not convinced about the Wii U gamepad thing. I'm really not. I still don't like the look of it. And if I can avoid using it, I am gonna avoid using it. Which is probably, which is really the reason why I've ordered the Zombie U bundle. So I can have the Wii U controller pro. And chances are, despite it all, I will probably use that for Zombie U as well. Because, you know, I want uh, and I just want a controller to be a controller. I don't want it to be gimmicky, like the Wii U gamepad is. That's all it is, it's just gimmicky, nothing more. Maybe I'll use it for Nintendo Land, but that's about it. That's as far as I'll go. Uh, who knows, there may be a game in the future that requires you to use it, and use it well. I mean, like, there is still maybe a possibility I'll use it on Zombie U, just to try it out. Possibly. I'll say no will, but possibly might. Because, you know, why not? It looks... Well, at least they use it, but they, it's almost like they're overusing it. I don't know. I shall see. I shall see. I'm not hopefully decided yet. In terms of games, I'm most looking forward to though, especially on the launch games, it is Zombie U. Zombie U is the main one for me. But I am looking forward to Rayman Legends as well. I do think that will be better than Super Mario Bros. U. Although it's still, although I do think that Super Mario Bros. U is going to be an awesome game. Shit. I really do. I think Super Mario Bros. U, well, you know, you can't go too much wrong with Super Mario Bros. So, I do reckon it'll be a good game. Probably an outstanding game, who knows? You're getting the 90s percentage rise, no doubt. Oh, I tried to hit them there. But I still think Rayman Legends may just score higher. I do get the feeling Rayman Legends may be the best game on the Wii U launch day. Maybe, I mean, it just has the look of it that it will. I'm not saying Super Mario Bros. you were. Uh, Review badly, I'll probably get 90 to 94 percent, no doubt, knowing Nintendo Max and whatever. But I wouldn't count out Rayman Legends for it. And am I going to finish first here? Good lord, I am. Look at that. 
I have just succeeded on Yoshmeister Green's track. Well, that's the first bit of non-fail I've had in the entire Double Dash LP. That is incredible. And that has put me up to third place. Alright. That went well. I'm surprised. And so now DK Mountain. One of my top tracks in Mario Kart Double Dash. Maybe I can carry on the good luck here. Who knows? I wonder if I try going for the cheeky shortcut. I don't know. We shall see. <sighs> oh, that's lucky. But when you look at the Wii, the Wii U games that's coming out in the first six months as well, it does have an extremely impressive lineup. I mean, nobody can discount that. I mean, it's going to have Monster Hunter in March. An actual Monster Hunter game, again, once again, coming out to Europe. I mean, I don't play Monster Hunter. It's not the type of game that would interest me, but for fans, it's a big thing. Am I? Am I? Yeah. Can try? No, nope. failed spectacularly. Shouldn't have tried it. I didn't have the stamina. It's better to do it in the handheld version. I may have just screwed myself completely. Oh well. Never mind. You never know unless you try. Oh, and I had a golden mushroom as well. Oh well. Dogs growling. But then you also got Dark Siders too, as I mentioned earlier. And you got Assassin's Creed, games like Assassin's Creed 3, Pikmin 3 to look forward to. Call of Duty, I suppose, that's coming out on launch day, isn't it? If you like Call of Duty games, which people seem to do, then you got that to look forward to on launch day. Lucky you! Me, I've never really seen the appeal of Call of Duty. Take that, Daisy. No, you bounced over it, you bitch. No, I did get a Call of Duty free on the Wii U, on the Wii's launch day. Mainly as I couldn't think of anything else to get. Marvel Ultimate Alliance was my big thing there on that launch day. But then you got another Mar Marvel game coming out on the Wii U. Awesome. Okay, don't let me fail at this freaking bridge this time. Hmm, I mentally tried to go for the items but failed. Oh well, I've caught up to the pack. The leading pack. Oh, and Pikmin 3, I wish that was a Wii U launch game. In one of my, I think it's the last video, I said I wanted Pikmin 3 on launch, that was the game I wanted to get. And it wasn't announced for launch. That's disappointing. I do hope, I did hope it was, but it's coming out in January, possibly. Right near the start of next year, so... Hopefully um, it's going to come out in January and I will get Pikmin 3. I really will get Pikmin 3. I really want it. So, and I'm going to finish second here. Considering I mucked up on the first lap, that's pretty good. There's not been as much fail in this one. Well, the first two tracks there was, but does this mean I place trophy-wise? 24 points? It does! I've snagged a bronze. All right. Not quite a fail, but all right. We get to see the award sem sem uh, the award ceremony. I was going to call it assembly. Ah, uh, for the first time in the project. I don't have to make this an extra video now. <laughs> so I was considering doing it. PT Piranha and King Boo with their things. I haven't unlocked that gold vehicle though. And I know you can unlock it, but I haven't done that. Interesting fact, when Toadsworth was considered as one of the characters in this game, that gold vehicle was going to be his vehicle. And Toadsworth really was at one point a character in this game. Then again, so was Professor E. Gad, apparently. Oh, why do they take Egad out? He needs to know, be in a Mario Kart game. Anyway, I'll see you next time.